All right, guys, if you haven't noticed, in the recent vlogs, the red golf cart hasn't been in it because the motor exploded. So it's 21 years old and the motor is electric and the electricity, it just it doesn't work anymore, it's done. So we got a new motor set up, which is a 500 milliamp controller, heavy duty wiring in the motor and some other like little uh, stuff to help it, nothing. But those are the three major compartment things. And me and my dad are gonna replace the motor and make it uh, go around 27 with the regular, or without the regular downhill, it's gonna go so fast. My dad's coming with his truck with a Home Depot trailer. We're gonna load it up, probably start, maybe start this weekend, I don't know. So uh, I'll film that process, hopefully it works and it's gonna be awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Golf cart repairing, let's go. You're good, barely. Uh, no, uh, uh, stop. Oh gosh, that clearance. You're good. Ooh. Perfect. Yeah. Is that about right? Yeah. You're going 70 miles per hour on the freeway in a golf cart, and then uh, you look back and the windshield isn't there anymore. I'm just kidding, it almost fell off and we pulled over and it's inside the truck now. You got like a foot left. Alright. Shout out to Canes, not sponsored by the way. I love Canes. Arrived home, boys. To start this gnarly project. There's still. Yeah. Okay. A little bit. Now we gotta push it because there's no motor. All right, we're uh, giving back Home Depot back their trailer. So, yeah, no more golf cart. It's chilling at home. Not sponsored, by the way. Home Depot sponsor. Okay. All right, we're getting started. Heavy duty wires, engine, controller, solenoid. What's this? I'm not sure. Me neither. We'll find out and shoot up thing that dog ate, but we're gonna replace it. Um, we were cleaning the batteries and now the golf cart is beeping for some mysterious reason. Yeah, problem number one in this process. We just put some water in it and it stopped beeping. So I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll continue. I guess it was just really thirsty. Burn your hands. All right, step one, we're just cleaning the golf cart, taking off the corrosion and just cleaning it out, making it all nice. All right, doing some Bill Nye the Science Guy right here and uh, the baking soda is eating the acid. Thanks, science. All right, we pretty much finished cleaning the batteries. They don't, they have like not very many corrosions anymore. So that's like step one. They actually look like batteries now. All right, time to wash the exterior of this golf cart. Then it looks so fresh. Never seen it so fresh in my life. Gave it a bath. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna uh, remove the basket and this part to get access to the controller and the motor. All right, we got everything off. We got get the controller, we got the rude dusty motor, and we got the solenoid, we believe, I'm not sure. All right, we unhooked some of the wires, gonna put the new controller in and stuff, and we're gonna jack this bad boy up. I don't want to scare you. I'm just saying you got to be careful when you're under stuff like this. What's your story? What's my story? Yeah, just a little time. So, my first neighbor, my first neighbors, the old couple, they would anytime I would work on my Mustang or anything, 
they would just sit there and watch me from their window. I thought it was kind of creepy, but I just kind of let it happen. And then one day they told me that the reason why they watched me is because they had a friend that was working on a golf cart and the mm. golf cart crushed it, fell, fell on him and crushed him. Oh, nice. So that's why they were so worried about me. So they were watching to make sure that my car wouldn't fall on me. Did they die? Did they die? No, did the guy who crushed the golf cart die? Yes, he died. Oh, no. I'm risking my life for y'all. Better uh, hit smash like. This is risky. Oh, there's a controller. Okay, hey, John. Let's see, sir. All right, motor's coming out now. Went up here for a better view. Okay, you ready? Yes, sir. All right, we got the old motor, the old controller, and over here, up and over the jack back part, we got the new controller and the new motor. Heck yeah. All right, we're gonna put the new motor in and it's gonna be in three, two, one. Yeah, time for the controller. All right, we got the controller and we also got the solenoid in there. So now we gotta start wiring and uh, yeah. All right, so we're wiring the controller, linking everything up, but an issue is that some, uh, they didn't give us hard wire either, like these nuts and stuff. Good thing my dad has like a million of tools, so we're good, but it's kind of annoying. All right, so basically, we don't have the hardware to put on the wires, so we're gonna have some lunch and then we're gonna get some stuff at Home Depot. All right, we're now at Home Depot looking for the hardware, the nuts and, washers and stuff. Oh my goodness. We found it. Let's go. Actually. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Okay. M6 is what we need. So let's get some M6s. All right. Let's find them. All right. We're actually going to go uh, standard and go 12.4. All right. Let's find them. All right. Actually, we're going to do uh, 516 by 18. There we go. See how those nuts seem We don't want nylon though. Yeah, no nylon. All right, just kidding. <laughs> 5 16th washers, 5 16th washers, 5 16th washers, 5 16th washers. Time for look for screws. All right, got all the parts. Let's go get a bag. Oh, they're out. We're out of bags. Let's go to the checkout. Oh my goodness, I was the fastest checkout guy ever. <laughs> Lit and legit sponsor some depot. All right, we back home. Let's resume the project. So uh, this part is actually the forward and reverse part. So yeah. So we're just connecting the wires to this part to the motor the controller and stuff. All right, we connecting the more wires to the motor. Pretty lit. Oh, my ride's here. Is it? Yeah, it's tight. Oh, I, we ha all right, we'll have to continue it next weekend. All right, I'll open up the garage door. All right. All right, we're back a week later. We're going to... Oh, the lights turned off. We're going to eat dinner and then continue wiring this bad boy up. Heck yeah, all right. All right, so next day we ate dinner and then we were tired and then I waited. So now we're going to finish it today, hopefully. All right. All right, we didn't need this wire, so we just cut it out and we're never gonna use it again. Brand new, cool Ford gauge water wire. All right, let's install it. Two is green. Three is yellow. Three is yellow. Yeah. Clip on. Huh? Clip on. Clip on? Kind of. Alright. On. There we go. Alright. Yeah. Alright, we uh, took the solenoid off to do some wire work on it and we're gonna put it back on in three, two, one. There's the solenoid installed and we're, we're almost done. We just gotta wire a few things up. Alright, we're gonna series all these batteries with five of these wires. Connected how it's supposed to be. 
So if we'll troubleshoot if we have issues, but that was all how it was. So this is all right. So we got this uh, batteries series up. So one, two, three, four, five. All the wires. This is the last one. And um, when we put it on, there might be a, a small spark or a big spark. This big spark, I just don't point it, but it's gonna be like a finishing touch, a fireworks show of sparks for the motor to the negative to the battery. Okay, watch out, don't turn this thing This thing will be totally dead. It's dead. All right, there are no sparks. There are no sparks because the battery is like, completely drained of juice because it hasn't been charged in a long time because it's been broken so it's, for a long time. Got a DC volts right now? Yeah. We do negative to positive. We should have 48 volts. We have 43 volts. It tells us our battery's a little dead. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. It might run a little bit, Aiden. All right, big brain issue right now. Um, no voltage is going to the solenoid. solenoid. Basically, what that means no movement. Momentum is a negative, no go. So we're trying to figure, figure out why there's no voltage going through the negative or why there's no voltage going through the solenoid. The batteries are fine. We're reading 43 volts. Should be 48, but it's just wear. So yeah, that's normal. It's just there's no voltage going through the solenoid, which is a, it's a no go. So we're trying to figure that out right now. All right, so here's the map. So there's no voltage. So it's, uh, it's either not coming from the onboard computer, whoops, it's a touch screen, or this green wire, which goes to the, this micro switch, which gives us a signal from this multi-step peronimeter. We were wondering what that was at the beginning of the build, which is this thing. So. We're gonna take apart that and see what's going on. And it should act like it would bring voltage to there, which would bring voltage to the motor. And that's all the solenoid does is just goes stop, close, stop, close. So put it in, put it, it's on, put it in drive like you're gonna drive it. Okay, okay it's on, all right, ready? Put it. This is gonna teach us. This is gonna show us one thing. Go ahead and ready. Three, two, one. Is it going forward or backwards? Only one tire is going. That's okay. That's normal. Okay. Just put it on. Okay. Now just drive it like full blast, like you're. Is that what it's doing for? Something like that. Not really, like it would shake the whole thing. Like it would shake really bad, but yeah, kind of like that. All right, let's charge up your battery. All right. All right guys, so yeah, I think we're gonna have to have a new uh, pertometer, but right now we're uh, charging it. It's just, you know, just to see if that will work. But more than likely, this part right here you can see it right there. It says the notice warnings is a pentometer. And basically that's like the throttle. And um, that might be our problem. So we might have to get a new one. That might have been the problem all along. And it wasn't the engine or anything, it was that. But I always wanted to get it upgraded, so it, it's okay. But that, that part might be the problem. I'm gonna throw up some pictures of it. Yep, so uh, that's, that's, I think, what we're going to have to need to replace for this thing. So maybe it won't be done this weekend, which would suck, but it's okay. Because we'll, we'll, we know the problem if it's that. And if it's not that, then it, we're really screwed. But yeah, we'll see. It's a, it's a project. All right, I realize this vlog is uh, running really long. So I'm going to make a part two. And so this is going to be into this vlog. Thanks for watching. Leave a like. If you know what's going on, hey, uh, golf cart professionals that are watching, tell me what's going on, man. Email me. All right. See y'all in part two.